previously on Flavor of Love. I don't give a damn that you guys are friends. Attachment. Can you stand on your own? People take me in. Think two's friendship that we're dependent on each other. I'm here for Flav, not for Think Two. She said that you don't seem like you're ready to stand on your own too. Maybe she isn't the friend that I think she is. Think I'm following you at all sincere? At this point, I think that our friendship is over. Oh, and I don't follow you. I don't follow me. You're the one who came in here with somebody else, not me. Ladies, I love you both. Think too, your time is up. <laughs> Sincere did what she did the thing too. What she did was jacked up, and karma is a. How you feeling over there, Sincere? I'd feel bad too if I backstabbed my friend. You backstab anybody. Right. This man has a nerve to be all like, I'm a backstabber because Think Two went home. Or what am I supposed to do? Say Think Two's better than me? Are you serious? Hell no. You guys were tight. Y'all have been tight since day one. I'm still here. Who cares? The whole and point that's the problem. is, I know she's anybody with a heart. You would not have done that to somebody well, you know what? that I didn't had come your here back. Too. Sincere gets upset and starts hollering and screaming. So of course we get into it, but you know what? I didn't care. I applaud no, you, Sweetheart, because that is a me. wonderful strategy. You don't but know in the me. end, you look like nope. and they nope. know it. Look that girl, way, I'm that's still why. here on my own. You so the twins I. for We're attention. Like I said, now. for attention. I don't need nobody. I don't need okay. nobody. I'm I don't need right now. nobody. You're you don't know me. How old are you? I'm 26, so what? Get off your toes. I stand on my toes if I want to. Seasons need to shut up because I'm about to make her shut up. No, seriously, press So what? Okay. Wow. Love. How you doing, uh, Big Rick? No, it's all good. So today, I'm taking the final three girls to France. Oh, you gotta get that in there. Caesar tells me, hey, we gotta boot Sincere out. So every time we get in the limo, Caesar jumps in first, and I jump in second, so that way Sincere gotta sit over on the bench by herself. Aw, uh, yeah. Sit my baby. <laughs> Plan worked out great. Flav got in between us. These damn sure don't intimidate me. If I was able to take out 14 females, I can damn sure take out two. So bring it on. France is known as being one of the most romantical places in the world. We're gonna do it right, and we're gonna do it big. Paul, when we land, Rick. I appreciate that, thank All you. Right. All right, sir. girls to a place called Cairns, which is a rich people's part of France. We got beautiful casinos, baguettes, french fries, and French people. <laughs> Welcome to the south of France. This is the final three girls, and this is it. Three goes to France, and only one comes back. I mean, only one comes back with Flay. We got to the Hotel 314 while they had these dancers on stilts that danced for us and they gave us the nicest, warmest French greeting that any American could ever have. Bienvenue au 314, Cédric. How you doing? Bienvenue, merci. Bienvenue au 314. Suivez-moi, je vous accompagne dans votre chambre. So the guy from the hotel comes out and starts talking to us in French. Mesdames, encore une fois, bienvenue à l'Hôtel 314 à Cannes. Je vais vous montrer votre chambre. All right. I don't speak French. So we just look at him and smile and say, bonjour, merci, because those are the only two words we know. Wow. Wow. We walk into the suite and it's off the chain. They had gifts for us already, some snacks, plenty of liquor, of course. We had a balcony that overlooked the French Riviera. Yes, yeah. ladies. <laughs> I'm yeah, tired. I'm gonna be on point for my baby real. in the morning. Yeah. Cheers. Good morning, Mrs. Can you follow me at the 314 Beach for the breakfast, please? All right. Here we are, our first morning in France. 
I set the girls up with a nice breakfast at the beach on the French Riviera. Like he's, I mean, I see so much in him. Like, mm -hmm. he's so smart and he's so, he's deep. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I'm deep. Like, you mm -hmm. know, there's a, a whole lot to me, and I, and I can tell it's the same with him. I mean, I can be honest. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and say like. The first kiss, oh, I saw sparks and flashes. None, with none of us, I'm sure. Yeah. My first kiss, yeah. I don't know yeah. No fireworks. <laughs> She's never had any feelings for Flav, and it's obvious this <laughs> is forcing herself to like Flav. But, but you know like, when you have that chemistry, when you well, first yeah, meet like, somebody, I'm, you're like, damn, yeah, you know, there's like an attraction. Right, I'm gonna sit So as soon as those words left my mouth about not feeling fireworks with Flav, I knew they were gonna use that against me. Only a desperate chick will feel fireworks in the beginning, cause there's no way that you come in the house and you're in love with Flav. That's just impossible. He's still obviously, you know, feeling me on some level if I'm still here. Right now, I feel like me and Flav have definitely made a connection. Not as strong as I want it to be, but I know it'll get there. I don't really feel like the other girls are a lot of competition to me right now. I definitely think the other girls are worried about the connection that me and Flav have. But I mean, I was quick to step up and say, you know, how I felt. I mean, if I had to be fighting somebody for, for time with them, I would. You don't have to fight for Flav's time, why? You know, I feel like he's, you know, he's giving me a lot of time of his time. You know, he's noticing me, he's coming to me. This had the nerve to say, Flav comes to me. So what is Flav, your little lap dog now? Her cocky attitude is gonna ultimately be her demise in the end. Coming up. I knew he was cheating on me. And you guys were only together for two months. It was nothing. Why are you driving like by his house? What goes around, comes around. And later. I want my hour. And I it's said, not your hour. Like, I'm okay. okay. Sit here and try to cover your ass. This is going to be crazy right here, folks. Because you are a hell of an ass. You need to take care of something for me right now, Rick. Surprise for the girls. A nice big hundred foot yacht. Flavor, flav! Flavor, flav! Yes, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Being on the boat is absolutely beautiful. The wind's blowing, we're taking off, and all you can see is the mountains off to the side, and I feel like I'm in a movie. This right here is a postcard. On the boat, definitely, I was really, really feeling black. Beautiful girl, beautiful place. And not only that, but couldn't keep my hands off her. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting for me to see Flav kissing a dog. She thinks she's cute and she's not. <laughs> I'm gonna steal my dog. I won't get in that water. Around with Mother Nature. <laughs> Sarah, don't be so scared. Don't be I so didn't bring no bottom. But why bring the top and no bottom? So Flav wants us to go swimming, and Sincere didn't wear her bathing suit bottoms. <laughs> I definitely think that Sincere isn't putting her all into Flav right now. We're in France. Like anything Flav wants to do, I'ma do it. That's her loss. We're diving. I'm diving, yeah. Ready? Go! <laughs> Wow. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> Get it salty. Yeah, boy. Flavor, flavor. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I really need to get in this water before he really starts feeling this. All right, now. So we're eating lunch, drinking some champagne. I asked all the girls, did I make a mistake? By eliminating thing two, I want to go back to our last elimination in thing two. Mm -hmm. Always need support. Not ready to stand on her own. Mm -hmm. I just want to know from y'all, do y'all think I made the right decision? It's kind of bothering me a little bit that Flav's bringing up thing two. Is he not happy that I'm here or something? My thing is it's just that she's never been on her own. We don't know if she could ever be on her own. What, what makes me think about mm -hmm. thing two mm -hmm. is because before she left, she was like, damn, why Flav? I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? We all know Sincere definitely left thing two hanging out to dry. I don't think thing two would, would have done that to Sincere, but Sincere's a snake. Check this out. 
I got a little something else set up, right? Whoa. Okay. I want y'all to go get yourselves ready. All right. Okay. Because I'm going to take y'all to a soiree. A soiree. Oh. So I really didn't have a great boat date with Flav, but I think I'll get his attention tonight at the soiree. Ooh. Had a nice day? Yes. yes. Now let's go off to our soiree. So me and the girls climbed off the boat into the Zodiac. I felt like Flav Bond, double O Flav. What the girls didn't know, I had got a nice VIP to a rich ball at a casino. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people get these. to this ballroom and I'm like, what the hell? Look like we were in the geriatrics department in a hospital with all these old people waltzing around. Come on. I don't know what they're saying, but... I think he was giving you a shout out. I took one of the girls out on the floor and we start dancing around and everything. The next thing you know, one of the other girls came in and we started dancing. And everything. Then here comes the other girl. And we start dancing. The next thing you know, I see Seasons walking with this old man. And I'm like, wow, Seasons. I thought Flav was gonna be your old man. So after all my dancing, it was time to sit down and eat, folks. Yo, Black, you got a good spot in the game. Do you feel like you deserve it most of all over these two? Yeah, I mean, I think I, I'm feeling you more than they are. I mean, I'm sorry, I do. Mm -mm. I have a question for you. Do you think that you have a problem with falling quick for the, for guys? Because when your ex was there, it seems like you guys were only together for two months. That that wasn't it was nothing. We but why are you driving like by his house? Well, he thinks I'm crazy, which I'm not, but he probably said that. <laughs> Here we go again, her trying to flip the tables and make herself look good and make someone else look bad. Because he was saying that, that you that was psycho like and you that. were crazy and he looked like he was irritated to be by you. Think now me, I'm out on the road a lot and a, a lot of women are just throwing themselves at me all the time, which I don't take. Are you gonna be able to handle that? My whole thing is as long as you're not lying to me, then I don't have a problem with anything. Black is desperate because I put her sorry ass on blast for being a jealous, psycho, crazy I'm feeling all three, y'all. I'm gonna feel the one that checks for me most. You come checking for me, I'm gonna come checking for you. So can I check for you tonight? Does that work for you? So before we could get away from the table, Seasons asked me for a nightcap because she hasn't had one-on-one -on -one time with Flavor Flav. So I had to say, okay, Seasons. Let's go, Seasons. Flav is a wonderful date, except for he's spending too much time with them nasty things and he needs to be spending more time with me. I will damn sure make sure that I fix this tonight. So what? attracts you to me. Today, <laughs> I want to tell you your <laughs> boom man. He should have. He should have. Any type of compliment from you, that's what I live for. So once we get to Flav Suite, we immediately just pounce on each other. Our sexual chemistry is there. Like, I never doubted that. I'm having a nice, Beautiful night cat with seasons. Then all of a sudden, 
A knock is on the door. Mrs. <clears throat> Pop. And who is it? Wow. <laughs> Sincere. What's happening? Can I speak to you alone? So when I see Sincere pop in the room, I just knew trouble was not far behind. Okay, is everything all right? Caesar looks like a clueless idiot because she doesn't know what's going on. I'm here to take your place. Yeah, you go, go, go to where your room is at. I'm gonna see you in a minute, okay? All right. Bye-bye, Seasons. All right, I'll see babe. you in a minute, okay? Okay. So I'm really pissed that Sincere cut in on Flav and I's one-on-one -on -one time. It's so typical of Sincere to try her best to take any type of time I have with him away from me. I need every minute that I could get at this point because tomorrow's eliminations and I'm not trying to go home. I've been waiting. Me and Sincere sat down and we conversated. And we conversated. And we just conversated until the lights went out. Oh, man. Looks like that's not gonna happen. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. She thinks she's slick. If that's what he wants, he can have that ignorant ass chick. I should have sat my ass in there. That's what I should have done. I wasn't thinking. You should go walk your ass back down there. Good point. <laughs> right down the bell. So I decided to go down there and knock on his door and see what's going on. So I rang the doorbell, no response. Knocked on the door, no response. Rang the doorbell again, no response. I don't know what's going on, but game on, Game on. Coming up. Good night last night. I don't like nobody dipping into my business. You sitting there trying to twist my words around. You're looking like you're jealous. You sitting here trying to bash us and make us look bad. Psycho crazy. After being away from the night, I'm walking back to my room and I'm happy because I know they're gonna be questioning me about where I was last night. And obviously I was with Flav, but really it's none of their damn business. So Sincere's wearing the same clothes as she had last night when she told me she was going to bed. And I already knew where she went, we all knew where she was at. Where'd you disappear to last night? <laughs> Who went to go talk to Flay? Black definitely does not have the nerve to be asking me where the hell I slept last night, and now she's really proving that she's nothing but a jealous, psycho, crazy You said I'm going to bed. I was, but then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Sincere is a conniving, manipulative, shady ass So you want to call me jealous, you're the one that interrupting dates, not me. Sure. Bonjour, mesdemoiselles. Bonjour. Je vous apporte le flavogram. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, my French kisses. I plan three dates for today. I have an hour for one girl, 30 minutes for another, and only 15 for someone else. You ladies figure out who gets the most of your man. And ladies, I hope you make a real impression today, because eliminations are tonight. Amour, mi chérie's flav. So there's a one hour date, a 30 minute date, and a 15 minute date. I'm definitely getting that one hour date. Well, my time got cut off short. Okay, so I agree, so. so like, I think I should, I should go for the hour, honestly. Well, you got time last night, so I feel like I should at least get the 30, because I got some things I need to say. I'm a fair lady. I'm definitely confident that my 15 minutes is enough time, because right now I want to let Flav know that Black is psycho, and she's jealous, and she's crazy. Two in France. 
Today, I'm going to have three mini dates with the girls, and we're going to definitely learn some French culture here, folks. But I only got so much time on my hands. So the 15-minute date on the beach was with Sincere. What's up, baby girl? So what I set up was a wine and cheese lesson. See that gentleman right there? His name is Steve. My name Hello. is Stefan. How are you? Good, thank you, Steve. How are you? Okay, um, Stefan. Um, this is its um, very big specialty, French cheese. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try some different cheeses. This is real French right here, you know? That ain't my kind of cheese. My boy Stefano came out with some of the stinkiest cheeses in France. And after all that, because it's um, the camembert. You know the camembert? It's a French... Uh, a camembert? Um, is that what you cheese. get when you take a camel? Yeah. You cross <laughs> with a bear and you got a camembert? Camembert. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Boy, it was very, very educational. But stinking. It's good, but I like sharp cheeses and like... <laughs> this look like sushi. Oh man, some of the cheese smelling worse than shy bread. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank and bye-bye. Thank you, Steve. My name Hello. is Stefan. The cheese is good. Mm -hmm. okay. And nasty, too. Instead of eating stinky cheese, I want to let Flav know exactly what Black has said to me earlier today. You know, um, everybody was questioning me when I came back to the room. Wow. Like, Black had the nerve to ask me where did I sleep. Wow. She asked you where you slept at? Mm -hmm. Why? That's what I want to know. Flav is not happy that Black is asking me where did I sleep. And I'm glad, because I'm hoping that I'm getting Flav to start to think that she's crazy. Why no, would she ask? Because she's jealous. <laughs> to me, she's just falling a little too hard. Too hard, too fast. I think that's maybe like a sign of maybe trust issues. Wow, that's deep. That's deep right there. I remember back when we were doing the Neverwed Game Challenge, how Black's ex said that she was a stalker. She is a stalker. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Cheers to that. This 15 minutes was short, but I accomplished everything that I needed to do with Flav, and I let him know a little bit more about Black. See you tonight, okay? Okay. Elimination. All right. So the next date was the 30 minute date on the rooftop by the pool with my girl Black. So on the roof, we were supposed to sit down, enjoy the nice view, and have the tastes of local cocktails. And this guy bought us up a big blue drink. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Like it. Hey. I didn't really care about the drink too much. I just wanted to get to the bottom of what Sincere was saying about black. So everything's good with you? Yeah, I just, you know, I got a lot of stuff on my mind. Talk to me about it. Did you have a good night last night? Did you have a good night last night? How did you sleep last night? How did you sleep last night? Who did you sleep with? That's not a right, New York. That's not cool like, asking me something like that, New York. I don't like that. Oh, man. This ain't too good. One thing that I don't need is the type of girl that'll be checking up on me about my whereabouts or checking my phones, checking my emails. It's not like that. Let me tell you something. I just left sincere. Because you asked her where did she sleep last night? I mean, I, was I really with her. think she don't I think you was knew. joking. Oh, but, 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 but I'm just saying, I'm words. just saying. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe that Sincere would try to twist my words and make it seem like I was drilling her on where she went last night. I don't like nobody dipping into my business like that, but if anything, ask me. I wasn't even saying it like, well, where'd you go? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that at all. You know what I'm saying? It was like joking because we all knew where she was at. 
That's like a sign of jealousy right there. Now, it occurs to me that black might be the jealous type because black shouldn't have no concerns on what me and Sincere is doing. One man. <sighs> See you later. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like right now. So I just walked off and I was out. That sound like a sign of jealousy. That sound right like there, a sign of jealousy, right? We got that hour, G. Who is to go talk to play? Sincere don't know who she's dealing with. I need my hour. And I'm feeling like I have to do something, and I have to do something now. Yo, what the f is that? Why are you why are you trying to go say that I'm drilling you and that I'm being jealous? No, but you, you knew, you knew it wasn't even like that, Sincere. You no. sitting there trying to twist my no. words around and no. make me look I a certain you way because you were you desperate. You asked me? How no. am I desperate? Because you sitting here trying to bash us and make us look bad to up I yourself. I didn't bash you. I'm not I didn't saying that. You're looking no. like you're jealous. How look at I have to be jealous of you. I don't you say you're jealous of me. It's not good. good. You came in there darker than me. Your name is Black. You you were Black. You're jealous. No. Whatever. I don't have Jesus, to. I'm sorry, but I'm taking my hour. I need my hour. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I can't do that black. No, so. no. No, I'm not, I'm not selling for no half an hour. So Black pretty much starts saying that she doesn't think that I should get my one hour date. I'm definitely taking my hour because I don't owe Black I, I mean, the agreement was an hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, so. I didn't, haven't had one on one time with him since we've been here, and no, I need, I, I need I my hour. I don't, I don't, I can't do that black. No, so. no. I need, I need my hour, I'm sorry. Coming up. She knows she's going home. Word. Yeah. You're not really even trying to be here. Do you feel like you're here because of drama? Not at all. You said that you were glad to just be able to come and go to France. Oh my God. You didn't you're say that. You're killing me right now. And later. I know magic. <laughs> what the hell? Alakazam. Alakazoo. So now it's time for the hour date with My Girl Seasons, and it was time to learn some French. And the French teacher, she was hot. If you was to touch her, psh, ah, ah, ooh, now that's hot. But the knock comes on the door, and it's not just Seasons, it's all three girls. Wow, what's up? I'm supposed to be having my one-on-one -on -one time with you right now. Black okay. doesn't think, doesn't want me to have my hour with you. I feel like since you've had one-on-one -on -one time with them since you've been here, you've definitely had one-on-one -on -one time. But technically speaking, both so... of you guys have had nightcaps, all this, I haven't even had that. Black was like, yo, check this out. I don't care whatever happened, but yo, I want my hour back. I want my hour back. I want my hour, and I it's said, not that's your hour. What, that's you took your 30 said. minutes, and it's not that's right for you to come and take her hour, too. You... This is gonna be crazy right here, folks. This I'm in here calling me all kinds of No, I said that's bad. I said you're gonna be Boy, is this for your man overwhelming. Let me nip all of this in the bud right now, all right? You got your 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. You had a chance to get your hour, but you ended up taking the 30 minutes, right? All right, so now the last date goes to Seasons. And now Seasons gotta have a date. If you really wanted that hour, you should have fought harder for it. End of story. Get out. You have a seat right here. How you doing? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I want you to meet Estelle. This young lady is going to give us a lesson uh -huh. in French. C'est A, E, A, U, I, A, U, I, U, U. You got to put your neck out. You got to tell your neck out. Maybe I can uh, teach you like uh, love words or something. How to say like I love you and oh, yeah. be mine. And... You can tell him, je suis amoureuse de toi, which means I'm in love. Amoureux de toi. Amoureux. Amoureux de toi. Voilà. Amoureux de toi. I'm a whole of <laughs> in my hand. Don't say that to a girl. Amoureuse de toi. Amoureux de toi. Oh, I'm a whole de toi. Embrasse-moi. Um, Kiss me. Um, <laughs> that was good? That was good? Sounds good, yeah. The French lesson went great. We, we met make babies. Babies. <laughs> he and I are flirting and kissing and Mwah. it's just really fun. I'm having a lot of fun with Flav right now. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. And bye I'll bye. see you again one day, okay? For Thank sure. you for your time.
So when me and Sincere get back to the room, I went on to explain myself to her and how I thought what she did was shady. Funny how you sit here and you say, you know, you understand how I feel, you understand where I'm coming from and da 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 da. But once the cameras get on, you get in flame, all of a sudden it's I'm this and I'm that. I don't down anybody. If he asks me something, I'm gonna give him my honest opinion. Simple as that. He wants to know what the hell he's getting himself. I don't know what he's getting himself into with you. But if you see something with me, tell him. That's what I don't understand. I don't understand why everybody gets mad for me calling like it how I see it. When I talked to her about it, I was like, you know what? I think I need to take the hour. And she was like, well, I'm getting eliminated anyway. So, you know, just let me get an hour just, you know, to kick it, da 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 Hell yeah, that's some should have went back and told his ass. She's get, she thinks she's getting eliminated anyways. That's the only reason why she wants the hour. You're in a house with three other females wanting the same dude. If she said that if you, if you would have told me that, I would have told him. <laughs> Simple as that. People will be looking at you like you're dumb for not saying nothing, especially if your ass goes home. The perfect way to end a French lesson is with a nice French kiss. I'm starting to really feel seasons, you know what I'm saying? This girl is really, really trying to step up to the plate now. I'm glad you took the hour, though. I'm glad I did, too. I wasn't giving it up without a fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to say you won the fight. And I let seasons know, you keep stepping it up and doing like this, we gonna go places. We gonna go places. Wow. <laughs> See you later. See you later, okay? So my French lesson is finally over, and I'm leaving, and I see Black coming down the hallway. So I'm wondering, hmm, what's she up to? Hi, Black. Hey, can I talk to you for a few minutes? I don't see why you can't. Okay. Enter. <laughs> So I go back down to Flay's room because I need to explain to him about why Seasons feels like she's still here. What's going on? Uh, I just was bothered by the whole situation. It's not really right because, you know, Seasons is telling me last night that she knows she's going home. She knows she don't have that connection with you, that she feels like the only reason she's even here is because of the drama she's got with Sincere. Word. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be sent home over somebody that I know doesn't even really want to be here. Wow. The heat is about to get turned up, folks. I want to see Seasons. All right. Come back with her. OK. I don't feel bad about telling Flav, because when it comes down to it, I'm not going to get sent home over Seasons when she feels like she's only here for drama. Flav wants to talk to us. To you. All of us? No, to you. Oh, me? Uh -oh. I'm really nervous. I can't imagine what Black would tell Flav about me that would make him want to see me, so I don't know what to expect. She got seasons, they both came back, and then I confronted all two of them. Seasons. Yes. Do you feel like you're here because of drama? Um, to a certain extent I do, honestly. That's like, in a sense, you saying that I'm using you. No, not not at all. Why so? Not I only at all. Because you only out here because you got drama with Sincere. No, so that means I'm using all. you for the drama, but now no more drama and you gonna go home? No, it's not. I don't, I don't like, understand. That's why I stop with the drama. That's why I don't, I try not to argue with her anymore. That's why I apologize all those times. That's because I don't, I don't want that to be an issue. I don't want that to be a factor. Yeah, but, but you said like, last night too that you were ready to go home. I never, you I never said, said I was ready to go home. Yeah, you did. I never said that. Yeah, you did. I never said I was ready to go home. You did. You said, I'm tired of all I, this. I'm I ready said, to go I, home. I, I am tired of the drama. Yes, I am tired, but I never said anything about ready to go home. I never you said You did, that. and you said that you were glad to just be able to come and go to France. Oh my God, Black, what? Oh my God, what are you? You, know what? you didn't You're say that. You're killing me right I now. Just, Black, I never said that. Oh my I God, just, like, I, please sit up. I'm gonna tell you all something. I just wanted to get to the bottom of this because you've been with me since day one, Seasons. Since day one. And I felt you deserved to be here. That's why you're here. That's all I need. See y'all at elimination. I don't regret that I told Flav that I'm partially here for drama. But I do regret even thinking that Black wasn't going to be that petty. All right, folks. 
got elimination ceremonies tonight. And you know what? Your man Flavor Flav is a little disappointed. I got a psycho stalker. I got a drama queen. I even got a girl who likes to pick fights. But little do these girls know, your man Flavor Flav has a trick up his sleeve. Yo, Big Rick. Yo, man, listen. I need you to take care of something for me right now, Rick. Coming up. I know magic. Alakazam! <laughs> what the hell is this? Alakazoo! I feel really confident going into eliminations tonight. I gave Flav very valuable information about Black. I think that I'm good and I don't think I'm going anywhere tonight. So I really think I made a huge mistake admitting to Flav that I'm only here partially for drama. I really hope tonight's not my last night in France. We get in the limousine and nobody has a word to say. It's an awkward silence, but I could care less. I'm just ready to get to elimination. So for tonight's elimination, we're standing in this beautiful garden, but I'm really nervous. So it's hard for me to enjoy anything around me. Going into elimination tonight, I'm a little nervous. You know, you got Sincere over here trying to paint this image like I'm crazy, which I'm not. And so, you know, you never know. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, Flav. Wow. All oh, three of y'all are banging. Thank, Thank you. you. You know? I just want to say that I've made certain connections with each one of you. The only thing that he's feeling on Black is her boobs. And obviously, Flav likes big boobs. Yo, Black, it seems like a little jealousy may come into play. I hope it ain't like the cycle, like your man said. You know what I'm saying? Sincere. You've been with me since day one. And since you came abroad, we've grown closer. Seasons, you was only here because of the drama. It kind of hurt your man's feelings if it was just for the drama seasons. I wouldn't have brought you all the way out here to France. The France boats and all of this stuff. I wouldn't have brought you out here like this, G. I brought you out here because I was feeling you, Seasons. I really hope that he can just look at the good times that we've shared together and kind of get past this, you know, little comment and move on. You know, maybe I might have made a mistake by bringing you here. I love you, Seasons. Your time is up. It sucks to get eliminated when I know that I have feelings for him. See you later, Seasons. All right, see you later. All right. Especially to know that he has a psycho chick in the house. You know, like, ah, oh, Flav, just please watch your back. I am so glad that that man season finally left. I worked so hard to get that up out of here, and finally she is gone. But Flav, but Flav is a magician. I know magic. So you know your man Flavor Flav is a magician. And I love performing magic. See this cane? This is magic. This is a magical cane right here. I told the girls I'm going to perform a magical trick for them and they ain't going to ever see another trick like this again in their life. Get ready to say some magic words right now. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazoo! Get ready to say some magic words right now. 
Alakazam! Alakazoo! Ding dong! Come through! How you doing, baby? Oh my god, I am so screwed. I'm so excited that Flav got me back into the competition. I mean, I have nothing but the utmost love and respect for him. Check this out, thing two. You know when I eliminated you? I was feeling like I was making a big mistake thing too. Because that girl right there was really, really down for your man. So that's why I had to call for you to come back out here. Step back to your spot. Find your other Thing two coming back could be a bad thing for me because I know she's been on his mind, but at the same time, I'm thinking I got somebody here that can help me show Flav what sincere really is. Now ladies, check one, two. The adventures that I have planned from this moment forward is only planned for two girls. Tomorrow morning, somebody else must leave me and go back to America. Next time on Flavor of Love. I realized that I need to make peace with her. You happy I'm here, Sincere? I never told him that you should go home. You did me dirty, homegirl. I went home because, because of what you were saying. Were saying. Well, I got to back thing two up. Sincere did the same thing to me. You a no. snake. Yes, I you are. You're a canadian. I told him what was going, going on. She loved me. I'm here. I'm letting right, you know. Good I ain't going nowhere. She loved me not. I you backstab her. On. You backstab me. She loves me. I'm looking for my queen. Flavor, flavor. This is Flavor Flav. If y'all want to see some of the behind the scenes moments inside my mansion, check out flavorofloveworld.com. Check out the bomb.